Welcome to Feed Dump, where this week we are comments received in a Twitch TV chat room on a 20 to 30 second delay. I am, what game are you playing? Joining me this week is useless advice. If only I'd gone left. And a context-free no. What are you even talking about? And we've all just been timed out for 600 seconds. The back third of a pharmaceutical plant was blown off, injuring two employees after what exploded? I'll go with a coffee pot, Graham. Some badly mixed Viagra in a penis-shaped mushroom cloud. Someone's head after bumping an uncut rail of dexedrine. Someone else's head after being scanners. Any one of the chem lab usual suspects? A Erlenmeyer full of ether. An RBF full of a nitrated compound. Maybe a vac line full of oxygen. You know, the huge. It's always red phosphorus. It's only occasionally red phosphorus. I don't blame you for not getting this one correct, because in this case it was in fact a vat of eggnog. <laughs> a vat. Dude, I figured out the best way to get high on nutmeg. Using the term pharmaceutical company may have felt like a red herring, but that's what they are. They also do work on food and beverage products and uh, they were mixing artificial eggnog flavorings to try out a new eggnog recipe, which presumably did not work. Well, you gotta be careful, nog shrapnel can kill. Drink too much nog and you too can have your rear half blow off. Well, I have injured a couple of people, but then it was the front half. They'll never walk again. The police from Winnipeg, Manitoba are having to refund over 2,500 speeding tickets because of an improper wording on the automated ticket. Isn't this exactly how the movie Brazil starts? Where were 2,500 people speeding through a single construction zone? It's a big construction project. Well ever done. I am really glad you asked because as it turns out, this 2,574 tickets were all from one mobile photo radar unit at a single construction zone between June 27th and July 1st, four days. Four days, 96 hours, for a little over 25 speeding tickets an hour, meaning one ticket every little over two minutes. I'm just imagining the photo radar with like smoke billowing out of it by day three. I don't suppose this construction zone was on the highway out of Winnipeg. Sick Winnipeg burn! Although seriously, they probably need it. It's very cold there. Good news for Scrabble aficionados. In an update for the first time in over a decade, the official Scrabble Dictionary is receiving 5,000 new words, including a bunch I'm sure you will hate. Beatbox, chillax, frenemy. God damn it! <laughs> selfie, bromance, joypad, mixtape, mojito, funplex. I'm sorry, what? Thank you, based Scrabble. I, for one, am really looking forward to getting punched in the throat by my aunt at Christmas time for putting a B on the front of her romance. The fuck is a funplex? It's what happens when you suplex a clown. <laughs> Cam, you accidentally made a Homestuck reference. <laughs> if it's any consolation, it's the clown that was doing the suplexing. Then that is just a regular suplex, Alex. It's only a funplex if it makes the honk noise. I should go... Yeah, why don't you go, clown? Yet another word included in the new one is hashtag, though no ruling yet on if you can just put hashtag in front of something else. So it's like, yeah, nice play, Grandma. More like hashtag syzygy. I think hashtag syzygy might be worth around 400 points if you played it in the right place. Yet another one, kajak. Q-A-J-A-Q, -A -A which is technically impossible to play without a blank tile. Well, I'm glad that Mixtape finally made it into the dictionary just in time for us to have to explain it to children in Guardians of the Galaxy. Also, Jockdom. What is Jockdom? It is like the collective term for jocks, all jocks. To be one with the jockosphere. Alternatively, it is the other half to a jock sub. This sounds like a weird frat. You've never been in a frat, have you? Just jock them out! And with that... We go back into the great Jockosphere. Until next time. There may be better sources for news, but they don't have this hat. Which I may have used before, but I don't care, because it's awesome. And from another time. That time being the 80s. When everyone wore hats like this, and clothing to match. Um, it was actually kind of startling. I hope it doesn't come back. So was it the ether, the nitrated compounds, or the liquid oxygen? What are they putting in this eggnog?